My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinner ideas using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, welcome back to week two of the pantry and freezer challenge. So for dinner tonight, I am making these two packets of Nor stroganoff. I found these on sale a while back ago. They were in my pantry. So I'm going to prepare them according to package directions. And I'm going to add in one pound of, I'm sorry, this isn't one pound, it's half a pound of ground beef. I'm gonna cook it up, add some onions to it, season it up, combine everything, and then add a dollop of sour cream. This is gonna be my cheaters stroganoff. And I'm totally winging this recipe. Okay, so here is our dinner and it is actually really, really good. I ended up not adding in the onion with the ground beef, but I did add about a quarter cup of sour cream um, after I combined the meat with the pasta. And I also added in probably about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese and stirred it up. And it's really, really very good. Serving it with some green beans and then a garlic breadstick that I popped in the air fryer, accidentally overcooked it just a little bit. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having salads. In my fridge, I had two packets of salad fixing. So I bought a couple of of uh, salad kits and the lettuce went bad before I had a chance to use the stuff that was inside. So that's what we're having tonight. So I'll start off with, I think that this is my salad. It's an Asian salad. So you can see um, the crunchy wontons and almonds. I've got the Asian salad dressing and then I just have some um, chopped up chicken breast on top with a breadstick. And this is Howard's salad. He is using the creamy um, ranch salad kit uh, fixings. And so it's a creamy, I'm sorry, not creamy ranch. It's a creamy Italian salad dressing, crushed croutons and Parmesan cheese, the chicken and then a breadstick. So the chicken we had in the fridge, in the freezer, excuse me. I don't know why I can't talk today. We had this in the freezer and I got it from Costco a long time ago. So we've been working through this bag. Mostly I use this chicken chunk for things like salad. So quick and easy dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having Asian food from Trader Joe's. So in my freezer, I had this chicken fried rice. It is really good. I do make mine on the stove top. Um, if you've been with our channel for a while, you know I do not care for peas. So I do take the peas out before I cook it. We are also going to have these uh, veggie birds nest. Let me flip it over on the back in case you wanna know what's in there. So the first ingredient is onions. To me, it really reminds me of an onion ring, um, but it has onions in there and carrots and kale. And it comes, I think, with the dipping sauce. Yes, it does. And then I'm gonna make this egg drop soup that I had in the pantry for a while. And I just add, I'll just need to add some chicken broth, which I have a bouillon cup, well, three eggs, and you guys know how expensive eggs are right now, but I'm gonna add my three eggs, and I do have green onions and sesame oil. I have a whole packet, well, actually a whole bag, like a Ziploc bag full of these types of soup mixes, Asian mixes, you name it, so I'm trying to work through that stuff. But anyway, I'll be back. Okay, here is dinner, quick and easy to make. I really love that fried rice. And I just stir fried some broccoli and sprinkled some garlic salt on it. Here is the soup. It's pretty good too. I mean, it's definitely not like going to a restaurant, but it's a good substitute. And then here is that dipping sauce that came with those um, little bird's nest. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Good morning, you guys. I wanted to pop in really quickly and show you what I am making for breakfast this week out of our pantry. Gonna be trying out these Trader Joe's blueberry muffins. And here is what you need on the side of the box right here. So what's different about these muffins is that they come with dehydrated um, blueberries. 
So you actually have to rehydrate them in water before you use them. Calls for three eggs. Y'all know that just hurts my heart using all those eggs. With eggs being so expensive now, here is the mix and then you just need melted butter and milk. So I will show you all how they turn out once they're done. Okay, so here are the muffins. I baked them for 30 minutes at 350. The instructions say 400 for 20 minutes, but I usually don't bake my baked goods at 400 because I want to make sure they're done all the way through. Here is one that I cut open. Howard ate his and he thought they were okay. He thought that um, he didn't think they tasted very sweet. I will agree with him. They don't taste very sweet, but that's not necessarily a bad thing for me. Um, I will say that the batter was very, very thick, kind of like a pound cake batter. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of blueberries in there, but the blueberries are much bigger than you um, would find in like the, you know, traditional boxed blueberry muffin mix with the, um, like the blueberries that come in the can. So they're a lot bigger, but there's just fewer of them. So anyway, just wanted to show you all what I made for breakfast today. For dinner tonight, we are having taco salads. Of course, this is out of my freezer. I have everything uh, to make this meal already. So these are the taco salad shells that I use. I love these things, been eating them since I was a child. And uh, we are having this wicked tasty taco, taco simmer sauce uh, for the first time. It was in my pantry. I didn't really care for it. It was a lot more smoky than I expected. Howard said it's okay, um, but I, it's not a, if you don't like smoky flavored things and you probably wouldn't care for this either, but this is Howard's plate. He's got sour cream salsa, a green jalapeno sauce, um, lettuce, avocado, cheese, and then the meat, of course. And then this is mine. Mine looks really sad because I put it in the microwave and my lettuce wilted but I have cheese, lettuce, jalapeno sauce, and the meat. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are eating family style. My parents are here in town, so I've got some homemade mashed potatoes. Howard grilled some pork chops for us, and he used a Korean barbecue seasoning and then I stir fried some green beans tonight. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.